Hey guys, what's up? By uh, Sectatron here from One Hype Gazette. Here with my next uh, attack strategy video, call it. Uh, this one is on uh, Town Hall 9 strategy used to two star Town Hall 11s, uh, which is huge if you can do that in, in a war because it frees up both the 11s and the 10s to focus their attacks on three starring the opposing Town Hall 10s. So uh, we're looking at the war versus this Asian clan. Uh, they put up a, a great war and uh, was pretty close. <clears throat> but our nines made a huge difference by getting some of these two stars allowed us to get more three stars lower down um, So it's the baby dragon valk combination. We're looking at today. Uh, people call it uh, all different kinds of things like baby bow baby baby drag baby dragon and weird stuff like that, but uh, Whatever you call it. It's the same thing and uh, <clears throat> It works very nicely against these town hall 11s. So basically the idea is that you uh, we're going to use a combination of baby dragons and minions. Minions are a little more efficient if the buildings are out of range of any air targeting defenses because at that point the hit points don't matter because they're not taking any damage. So the minion is only two troop space and it'll work out a little better, especially on a two star attack when you have a lot of time because even though they do less damage than a baby dragon, uh, it doesn't matter. They're still going to get the building down eventually. The baby dragons are for when there's like an archer tower or even an air defense for a short period of time that are going to be in range. That's when you want the baby dragon because it has more HP. It'll get those buildings down faster. Uh, you can see he gets to about 20% just, just with the minions. And uh, he also is going to be creating some funnels. So that's important too. Uh, that's kind of a bonus you get for the baby dragons. Not only the initial percentage but the funnel too. And uh, you do this at the beginning so the eagle doesn't activate. That's pretty important. Uh, you don't want that eagle going off too early. So the baby dragons go down, they're getting some more percentage, and they're also going to be creating the funnel for the Valks, which will happen a little bit later. But you can see he's getting up there already at 24%, go up to, I think, 26 in just a moment, and uh, has two baby dragons left to deploy. And still, you know, they take up 10 troop space, but he still has room for 19 Valks plus the CC, and his, uh, his heroes and his spells has all of those. So last baby dragon goes down. It'll go down before it gets to that cannon. Uh, but right here he'll start in with the next part of his attack. I like how he left the buildings there to draw his troops in. Uh, so it goes ahead and drops the king, the Valks, the queen. Everything's moving its way in. Uh, the bowlers, those are a good complement. Uh, CC for bowlers. Add a little bit of range to your attack. And just rages and heals them through the base. Because the infernos aren't really in range. Poisons the CC troops. The eagle is going off but at this point it's a free for all. Everything's moving through, and you can see how quickly the uh, Valks got in there, got the Town Hall. Uh, things are dying off now, but pretty easy. Uh, not with really a question as to whether he was going to get the Town Hall. At this point, it's pretty much over because the Queen is going to get overwhelmed by the CC troops and everything. Uh, but an awesome attack, 55%. Uh, great stuff there. Let's go ahead and take a look at one more. Going to be a little bit of a shorter video, but it's a pretty pretty basic concept if you can... Uh, if you can master it. So we're looking at uh, Nate, that's it. Uh, taking on number five. And uh, you can see he's actually bringing something that was really interesting to me. He's gonna go ahead and zap Quake one of the air defenses just for his baby dragons. So I found that really interesting. I'm, uh, It's a huge investment uh, just to take out you know, an air defense that you're not even really gonna be coming at that much. But that's quite a bit of percentage when you look at it. All those buildings clumped up over there. So drops down his baby dragons on the right side. He's bringing quite a few baby dragons because uh, there's a ton of trash on the outside of the space. And um, he can really eat up a lot of percentage just with the baby dragons alone. So not having that air defense there makes a pretty pretty big difference. Uh, gets all that percentage on the, uh, that side of the base. Uh, that baby dragon is moving in. He'll get the Tesla, I believe, right there. Tesla goes down and... Uh, already up to 25%. The corner builder's huts don't hurt either. Uh, that'll get him up to around 30. So he's already, you know, more than halfway to the 50%. And uh, one thing, uh, because that town hall is so exposed, he could really invest all his effort into getting the percentage because the town hall is kind of a gimme. Uh, it's not going to be too hard to uh, to get taken out. You can see he kind of comes from a weird angle. I want to drop the queen over and just let her do work on the town hall. But it works out fine the way he came. Uh, the Valks get over there all the same, and they take out uh, the Town Hall. At this point, he's almost at that 
Uh, right here, the CC troops are coming out, but still has his queen with her ability. She's going to sit back, take out that baby dragon, and then get up to the 50%. So pretty close here, but taking out a max Town Hall 11, that's huge. I mean, any two-star, whether it's only 50% or whatever, is great for this base. Uh, for a Town Hall 9, taking out a max Town Hall 11. So good stuff there. Gets up to 52 right there. Uh, nice attack to Nate. Uh, but I hope you guys get the idea. Um, you're going to invest baby dragons for percentage and funneling, and then the Valks, uh, and sometimes a CC of bowlers, uh, if that's kind of what you want to do, or a CC of Valks, either one. Invest that into getting the Town Hall. And some Town Halls are easier than others. Not every Town Hall 11 can be uh, two starred by a 9, so you got to kind of pick carefully uh, for your war which bases are we going to have our 9s hit, which are we going to have a 10 or 11 hit because it's a harder base. And once you make that decision, it really frees up a lot of high-level attacks to go down and get the three-star where it matters to help you win the war. So hope you guys uh, enjoy th this attack strategy video, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectrono.